Uh, it seems like one of my videos, the best yet to come, um, it was pulled down from YouTube. I got a warning. Um, I was almost getting to a thousand, uh, basically, views, which isn't much because I'm just kind of a new person, really, to this YouTube channel subscription thing. But uh, what I was voicing in this video that was pulled down from YouTube, I have it on Rumble. I'm going to send a, put a link out on the uh, YouTube video that I'm doing right now. Please join me on Rumble. Um, and I'm going to look for another source to put videos on as well. But uh, it was basically linking the COVID-19 crisis with the uh, global reset agenda. And I was mentioning a little bit about Charlie Ward and some other topics on there. But it's not going away, the COVID-19 thing. We've listened. The, look how many... Uh, weeks now the uh, the vaccines been out um, our Prime Minister in Canada has been really slow putting it out and, and then there's some people that are not going to do it but are we seeing people really dropping like flies dying literally like a like a smallpox epidemic I mean there's doctors have been speaking out for for uh, quite some time about it and they're getting basically blacklisted and um, it, it, you know Dell Big Trees another fellow that I've been viewing he's been coming out with lots of data on the COVID and and we're seeing basically that the uh, you know the ministers in the Liberal caucuses uh, Tam apparently was making an announcement and some things about we're not going to get out of this uh, new normal and you know it's just going on and on and on churches uh i just read a report today a church pastor in uh edmonton was uh put in jail he didn't want to close the buildings um that he was uh involved in i guess and i don't know all the ramifications there but he feels he has to do jail time i guess and uh there's other you know ministers that are speaking out um I don't know what's happening in the other faith circles, but locking people out from fellowship and I mean this is coming out even with people doing the you know masks and all these things and they're still not allowing buildings to open up. I don't understand the logic there. Even small businesses having a few people come in, some provinces are just clamping down because cases are up. Well cases, right. But we're not dealing with an illness that is instantly paralyzing people. This is like, I, and another statistic I have been looking for is the flu. Where did the flu uh, go in all the, the data here? It seems like the flu has been kind of, the numbers have been put in with the COVID numbers. And um, again, this is all linking up to something that is not about COVID as the killer pandemic. This is about linking the COVID with different agendas, which I I have to, I guess the way YouTube sees it, if I'm speaking out on this, I might be given another warning, but I'm trying to say to people, we have to open our eyes and really look at this objectively now. This has been a year coming now, a year. How long are we going to be as people, as people putting up with these measures where seniors are isolated in their homes? Um, and some of them are even dying because of different vaccines. And um, there's so many stories coming out. Um, whether you've taken the vaccine or not, that's your choice. I'm not condemning anybody for that, of course. Uh, but what I'm trying to say is there, there is um things going on here where money is being involved to sell all these vaccines to millions of people so i think you know what we've really got to start doing is here is really digging in and saying is the government officials that we've elected are they actually doing what we the people want or is it they're doing it because of these i guess you'd call them uh oligarchs or billionaires 
because we the people make up Canada. We the people make up uh, the United States, our neighbor to the south. We have to decide what we want. Our votes matter. Still. <laughs> I mean, that's a whole other topic. They're going to try to, the Liberals are apparently trying to uh, make the uh, elections now a little more, um, how would I say, uh, susceptible to maybe some um, voter tampering. And you know what, we really, folks, there's a lot coming at our pipe right now. But we, all this is, you know, like again, bottom line, taste and see the Lord is good. He's using this to keep us sharp. He's using us to, to tell people the truth and love. And we're learning. We're learning uh, in the process. Uh, not to have hatred in our heart for people that don't maybe abide in our same values. Uh, whether you're for the vaccines or you believe this whole COVID thing is is way over the top or is it, you know, whether the government's doing a great job, you know, just look at the facts, do your research. And that's all I'm going to say in this uh, this video today. And um, check out the, the different vaccines that the different companies and research about who's behind these um, developments and, um, you know, what we need to do what is what is the right thing to do when it comes down to it so i'm just giving my little word today it's, it, i haven't posted for a little bit and, um not because i didn't want to i just was involved in a few other things but uh great to see you all uh, uh what you are sending me one some inspirational stuff people have been sending me via email and uh on messenger and i heard parlor's going to be opening up again I have I've heard it's open but I couldn't get into it and uh, some of the other sites now I've been checking out Gab and Rumble um, Facebook seems to be had a, on a battle with Apple about some things but I have been censored on Facebook a bit uh, as many of you so let's just stand in the faith and uh, let us let us re, you know let let us be able to share opinions even though we may not be able to say I agree with the person but allow people to speak that's the that's the essence of a democratic society and uh, so just shalom peace for you and let's keep ourselves refreshed in the Lord and uh, God bless you